Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. We're going to be starting a new campaign today. It is the Battle for Middle-Earth 2, Lord of the Rings game. No, I'm not playing the first one. We're going to do the second one. So I've got to send out a huge thank you to Unbalanced. First of all, this is a very hard game to come by in today's world since it is not digitally distributed. So he sent me over his copy of the game to do this series, and he is making all of this possible. We're going to go through the campaign. I think we're probably going to do medium difficulty. I already played the tutorial, and we're just going to dive into the good side of this. It's been a long time since I've been inside the world of Lord of the Rings, and I'm really, really looking forward to this. Beautiful music, beautiful artwork, and... In the final years of the Third Age... That looks foreboding. Middle-earth stands on the brink of destruction. Oh, that is a cool art transition. Hey, all seeing eye. The free peoples are under threat from Sauron, the Lord of the Rings, who prepares his vast armies for war. That is a lot of orcs in a very large fortress. I do believe, good folks, that we are looking at the final battle. At this late hour, the leaders of elves, dwarves, and men come together at the Council of Elrond to decide their next move. I absolutely love it. And head south to destroy the source of Sauron's power. Hand drawn artwork transitioning into the game the engine. Lord's assault upon the northern lands. The elven and dwarven races have always had little trust for each other, but now they must unite and fight a common enemy. You know how hard you have to throw an axe to get it to fly that far and sink like that? It's a freaking strong dwarf, man! Final boss, maybe? Superior in-game unit? I cannot remember what those are called. The Wraith Lords, whatever they are. I'm sure eventually that we'll have to run into one, strictly by necessity. You gotta have a stronger enemy now and then. Hello there, Rivendell. A hidden refuge and stronghold for the elves. Apparently, all of the orcs like to play hopscotch in the forest. Skippity, skippity, skippity. <laughs> Little bunny foo foo hopping through the forest. <laughs> Lorfindel must go to the house of Elrond and inform the lord of the approaching goblins. All right, so we have got to get through here. Um, our specific objective is to get... Glorfindel and the elves to Rivendell. So I imagine this being an archaic game from the 2006 era, it is probably going to be quite literal. So we are going to have to pull every single elf with us. You have got a mount ability, and it looks like you also have a blade of purity that does a 100% increase to damage and defense. So that is probably going to be something I want to use. We're going to attack move through this group of orcs, hopefully slaughter them all, saving a few of our comrades alive so that they can add to our forces. Good dealio. I think it just gave us a little heal there. Nicely done, nicely done. Oh, oh no, you did not. Bro, you just hit up the sacred trees of the elves. That is not smart. That is not smart at all, and holy crap. I am getting hit by archers from long range, and that is not cool. So we need to engage them and get rid of them. Oh, wow. There are more in the back. This is not good. We just gained a veterancy. We're a level two with our hero now, so that's good. Still can't use this thing, though. Come on, why not? Why will you not give me the attack bonus? There it is, Blade of Purity. We've got to hammer all these sons of guns down. 
Man, even on medium difficulty, just about lost every one of our troops trying to get through this thing. We've got our hero and we've got two soldiers left. Man alive. All right, so the heel brought another one back from the dead, apparently. So the elves are also necromancers. Yeah, reinforcements. Come on, get on up in there. We should be able to take this easily. Lots of fresh blood up in here. Oh, nope, nope, not fresh anymore. They spilled it on the ground. There we go. Bring Glorfindel and the elves to Rivendell. So we're just going to head on up this way and get through that gate. Hopefully in time for dinner. I would hate to be late for the eats. Of course, elves don't really have good food anyway, I don't think, because they're not partakers of such things as gluttony. Let's get on up here. I don't know why I'm using an attack order, but it is there. So we need to pick an ability, and these are going to range from Enshrouding Mist that stells units. That might actually be a good idea. We've got Elven Gifts that uh, let heroes gain 50% damage. Uh, it's a passive power. Ooh! You know what? I'm going to go for that one. That one is a heal, and that one is Elven Wood, where allies gain 50% armor. All right, I think that is the way to go, though, because we have a freaking Elvish Knight at our head. Glorfindel should be able to cave some skulls in with that 50% damage boost. All of my uh, cannon fodder was dying anyway. The goblins have come down from the mountains. They're approaching from the south. As since this day was coming... Long has Rivendell been saved. You look like a practicing ninja, Elrond. What the crap? I'll take care of the filthy wretches. Alright, so we get some new guys here. I've got a slam, which I'm assuming uses his hammer. Is that like ground pound? And then we've got a leadership bonus that provides experience and damage increases. And then a heal. Nice! This will be a lovely addition to our forces. Uh, Gloin must reach level 2. Well, that shouldn't be hard. So this, yes, I can train more troopers. Good, good, good. We're going to train a few more of those. Where are all these? Ah, we can garrison. So let's hold up some of our more damaged, uh, damaged units. You guys, let's go over there. And the rest of them are going to depend on freshly arriving troops. Everybody's at full health. I think we are actually good to go. Ooh, snap. Goblin's attacking from the west, so we need to go this way. Oh, look. There's uh, there's more stuff that we can build over here. So let's do that. Um, this might be bad for us. So we need, uh, we need damage increases, damage buffs, everything we can do. And this looks like a perfect opportunity to use the freaking hammer slam. Wait in there, Gloin. Boom, baby! Seven orcs go a flying. That is amazing. Anytime somebody brings down the hammer, it is a good freaking day. All right, so there's our first troop of uh, first group of reinforcements. We got another brigade over that away. Brigade, I suppose, would be the proper term. The hammer is going to require a bit of time to recharge, so that is unfortunate. Hey, Elrond, come back here. I'm back here. We need to heal. Now. Heal up, and we're good. Sweet. So, I'm just going to stick around over here. Oh, snap. We got archers now. Can I build archers? I can build archers. Okay, so get those on board. Um, you are building... Sweet. I think they share a build queue, actually. So it distributes the build across all of your available, um, across all of your available barracks. I guess barracks would be the proper word. Stay over here. We just got attacked from the west, and I think the west is probably going to be the direction they come from again. Was that? That was. That was the orc war drums. Or goblins, I suppose. Come on, archers. Uh, there is a boulder. That means, yep, there it is. Giants. Giants. Crap. Come on. We got to kill the giant before he just caves all of our troops in with the freaking boulders. And there's also trolls. 
Come on, come on! You got to go kill the things before they get to our archers. Archers are the best ones to attack that, I think. Um, you guys, please attack him. Thank you. And he has fallen. And freaking tastic! That is quite the melee character there. I I hear you. They actually drop skeletons. That is cool. Alright, so we're going to retreat back up into the city. And we now have... Is that L'Oreal? I, I think that's her name. Arwen. Arwen. That's who it is. Why was I thinking Oriel for some reason? Come back. Goblins are setting up camp to the south. And we have to go kill them. Sounds like a plan. Let's ride out. We can rejoin all of our forces here. Are we getting any more out? No, because we are actually over our unit cap with the reinforcements that just came in. Goblins, you're going to have a bad time, man. Why are you coming through the water? Let's get on out of here. We're now leaving the city in the capable hands of the garrisons. And we're going to do our best. To eliminate all of the orcs and goblins in this area. Did I just hear the freaking hawks? I thought I heard the eagles. Let's head over this way. Maybe that's just an ambient sound. Nope. There's actually eagles. Good lord. The great eagles are large. Please tell me that you fly away with enemies. Because that would be amazing. Nope. Looks like he's going to go down and just claw him to death. Oh well. At least they're helping, right? At least they are helping. Nope, nope, they actually do carry them away. Ah! <laughs> oh, that is awesome. That is amazing. Come on, Eagle. Grab you a tasty little tidbit. Fly him away. Or you could just be lazy and let gravity do the work. <laughs> of course, anything that kills a goblin is not a bad thing we're gonna grab um let's see we're gonna get the healing ability i think yes and also elvenwood accept and we're good we're gonna heal up nice oh snap we got two giants over here come on come on Get over to this side as quickly as you possibly can because we have got to get over here before the boulders knock down all of our troops. Don't, don't let that happen. All right, archers are doing a fantastic job. Oh, we've got bombard abilities. So we can hit an area, yes? Yes. So we can manually target them on one spot. That works out pretty dang well. Come on, guys, eliminate the rest of the camp. Why the skeletons are just sinking into the ground, we may never find out. Alright, where's where are the enemies that are left? What is going on here? Oh, we've got just a little left. Oh crap! There is a giant worm! Why for you attack me, worm? It is literally a worm. That breeze fire! Oh, oh no, I'm on fire. Use the eagles to slay the worm. What, are, are they gonna like come up out of the, pull them out of the ground? <laughs> I am disappoint. I am disappoint in this kill. You could have just pulled the thing up out of the ground and they're just taking a huge chomp out of its head. Under siege from the goblins of the Misty Mountains, Rivendell is no longer safe for the elves. As time is now running out, Elrond forms a plan to unite the Elves and Dwarves of the North against Sauron's advancing armies. His most powerful warrior, Glorfindel, will join forces with the Dwarf leader, Glorin, to make war on the Goblins. Alright, so we get to bring the hammer with us. I can't complain about that. You know, this doesn't actually look bad for a game from 2006. There is the scoreboard, folks. That means that we are at the end 
of Mission 1. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this series. I've been looking forward to playing this one for quite some time. Sorry it took me so freaking long to get to it. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.